In this video, I'm going to show you how I use guest mode in Home Assistant. Make sure you stick around and if you like what you see, hit subscribe below so you don't miss out on future videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Sarish Tech and today we're going to look at guest mode in Home Assistant how you can make it and what you can use it for. Some of you will have seen my guest mode in my Lovelace in previous videos, so I thought I'd show you how you could do the same. So let's get going. Now guest mode isn't actually an integration or a built-in function at all. It is just an input boolean. But I use this input boolean to make things happen or make things not happen depending on its state. So why might you want it? Well, if you have a lot of automation set up in your house, then certain things will happen at certain times or given certain criteria. But this is most likely going to be reliant on the people in your household normally being there. For example, if you have presence detection and you have everything turning off when you and everyone else in your household leaves, then if you have a guest there, then everything will turn off on them and you'll plunge them into darkness. We don't want that to happen. So guest modes can be used to prevent certain automations happening if you don't want them to. It can also make things happen instead. For example, your heating schedule might never include the spare room, but if you have guest mode on, you might want the spare room to be heated up for your guest to have a nice warm room when they go up to bed. Let's start off by making guest mode. As I said, it's just an input boolean. So we head over to our config file and add an input boolean. Mine are referenced in a separate file, so we'll head over there now. This input boolean, we need to give a name and an icon. We can then save and restart Home Assistant, and it should appear in our entities. Now at the moment, this is just a little switch. It doesn't do anything. What we need to do is include it in some automations. I'm going to show you some of the automations that I've got running, which include guest mode. But of course, it completely depends on your automations and what you want guest mode to do. Personally, I only switch guest mode on if I've got guests staying over or here for a long period of time. Whereas you might want guest mode on any time that someone else is in the house who's not in your household. Or you may even want two separate input booleans to control those two different states. So let's head over to Node Red. The main automation I use guest mode for is to turn the heating on in the spare room. To do this, we use a light scheduler node. This is active between 9 and 10 p.m. every day. It then goes into a switch node so if the light scheduler is on, it'll continue. If it's off, it won't. It then goes to a current state node. This gets the state of the guest mode. So if guest mode is on, it'll continue down the flow. If guest mode is off, then it won't do anything. If it continues, it'll check the temperature of the room using another current state node. If the room is less than 17 degrees, then it will continue on. If it's more than 17 degrees, then it won't, because if it's that hot, you don't need to turn the heating on. If it continues, it then goes to a cool service node and turns the heating on to 21 degrees. When the light scheduler goes off, i.e. at 10 p.m., it will set the temperature to 12 degrees. That means it's in an ambient state for the rest of the night. At midnight, it then re resets and reverts back to the heating schedule. I've also included guest mode in my sleep scene. My sleep scene basically turns the whole house off and sets the bedroom ready for sleep. It'll turn off the music, the lights and the heating. But I don't want to plunge the whole house into darkness if I've got a guest. So if I've got a guest, then I'll check a current state node of guest mode. And if the guest mode is off, then I'll turn the spare room lights off. If it isn't, then I'll just leave things how they are. I also have it having an effect on our heating. So there's a 20 minute delay on the turning the heating off in the bedroom. If guest mode is on, then there's also a 20 minute delay turning the heating off in the spare room. If guest mode is off, then it'll turn the heating off straight away. The third automation, which uses guest mode, is for my outdoor heater. I only just thought of this idea while making this video, so I'll edit it now for you. Currently, when the heater turns on, it waits an hour and then turns off. What we're going to do is add a switch in there. Switching based on the state of guest mode. If guest mode is off, then it will delay one hour and then turn the heater off. Whereas if guest mode is on, 
it'll delay three hours instead before turning the heater off. If I've got a guest, I'm much more likely to spend a bit longer outside in the garden with them talking, so I don't want it to shut off on me as quickly. I also have guest mode affecting my love lace. Here is my simple tablet view which you will have probably all seen before. What you might not know is there's a conditional card in there, so if guest mode is on, another card pops up with Wi-Fi login details. If guest mode is off, then that card disappears because I don't want it clogging up space. To do this, you're going to need a QR code of your Wi-Fi login details. I use qifi.org to create mine. I'm guessing it's a play on Wi-Fi, but it's hard to pronounce. All you need to do is enter your SSID and password, and then it will spit out a QR code. To suit the theme of my Lovelace, I'm going to round the edges of this a bit. If you're going to do that, make sure you don't round it too much that you cut off too much of the QR code, otherwise it won't scan. So give it a quick test before you go ahead and import it into Home Assistant. To actually make it appear, we're going to use a conditional card. When guest mode is on, it'll display a picture card with the QR code for our login details. I'm using a horizontal stack here with some blank cards to give it a bit of space to make sure the QR code is center. These blank cards are excluded from the conditional card, i.e. outside of it, so they're always there. This means that my weather widget is always at the bottom of the screen. I just prefer this look. I'll leave the code for this and my spare room heating flow in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Obviously there's so much you could use guest mode to edit. Even if you can't think of anything right now, I would suggest you get guest mode set up and up and running straight away. Then anytime you create a new automation or a new routine, then you can check whether it would be different if you had guests in the house and then you could add various conditions to your routine or your automation to make things happen differently. I'm thinking about getting a 3D printer over the next few months to help out with my projects. I've been looking at the Ender 3 Pro. It would be great to know what your opinions are of this printer as an entry level model. Let me know in the comments below. I've also been asked to let any followers know about the Portuguese Home Assistant community. You can find them at cpha.pt. Thank you to Rodolfo for sharing this with me so I can share it with you. The link will be in the description below. And there we go, guest mode is set up and running. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon below to find out more about my smart tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.